Hey there, I'm Rachel with Positively Mommy. I recently purchased this automatic curling iron on Amazon to see if it could be an alternative to the Dyson Airwrap. Stay tuned for a short tutorial of how this instant curling iron works and how it compares with other curling irons. Here is the Kiss Products InstaWave Automatic Ceramic Curling Iron. It was $40 on Amazon and has 4,000 glowing reviews. It has a one inch barrel and these guides that help pull the hair in automatically to curl it. It doesn't pull the hair tight, so it's supposed to be less damaging to the hair. It has a direction button, so you can curl either to the left or the right. It can be used on short or long hair. I'll be giving the long hair instructions today, but the short hair instructions can be found on the Amazon listing page of this product. I will link that in the description below. There's two heat settings on this, low and high. High is 420 degrees. It doesn't say what low is. I feel like 420 is quite hot, so I'll be using low today. This curling iron is meant for folks who just don't get good results with regular curling irons. It's supposed to be a lot easier than a regular curling iron, but I'm not so sure about that. I've used it a couple times and both times were quite frustrating and I gave up and used a curling wand instead to fix all of the mistakes. I don't find a curling wand to be frustrating, but some people might, so this review and tutorial is for you. Here's what you do. You take a one inch section of hair and position the curling iron vertically behind the section. You push the left or right button depending on which way you want the curl to go. Then you wait as the hair is pulled into the barrel and you release when you hear a beep. You continue this process throughout the hair. This method is supposed to be tangle free and easy. I did not find it to be tangle free or easy. Hair that I hadn't sectioned kept getting pulled into the barrel and that was frustrating and caused a lot of tangles. I had to untangle those pieces and curl them again. However, I'm sure with practice, this would be less frustrating. I found it took about twice as long to curl my hair with the automatic iron than it did with the curling wand, and the curls were falling out by the end of the day, whereas the wand curls stay in for two or three days. I don't have issues wrapping my own hair around the barrel if it saves time and is more effective. I did wish the barrel was bigger because I prefer loose curls to ringlets. That can be fixed with a little sea salt spray and a wide tooth comb to loosen the curls. There is one nice thing about this curling iron. They say you don't have to wear a heat glove because you're not touching anything hot. But I think I'd wear one just to be safe. I'm having some frustration here with this automatic curling wand. I just feel like this front section of my hair has to be curled over and over and I just can't get it right. And if I had a wand, I would easily just wrap it around and it would be perfect. Another thing to keep in mind is you definitely want to have about one inch sections of hair. If you use bigger sections or smaller sections, it just really can't hold on to the hair. So my final thoughts on this automatic curling iron are, if you're really having problems using a wand or a regular curling iron, maybe give this one a try. If you're only going to be using it on other people's hair, it's probably not as frustrating because you have more control and you can see more of what's going on. But if you're like me, you won't like it much and it's getting returned to Amazon. I don't even think it's close to being an alternative to the Dyson Airwrap curling system. And this is something you could probably pass on because the frustration factor. There is another automatic curling iron that gives a bit more control with heat. And when the hair is pulled into the curling chamber, it's called the Infinity Pro by Conair. I'd like to give that one a try to see how it compares. When I do, I'll link to it up above. Anyway, that's my review. If you have any questions, please post a comment and I'd be happy to answer. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.